Hi, everybody. Uh, well, I'm going to talk about playing with the Python objects in, in the Python 3.4. Uh, the idea of this talk is talk about uh, the internal structure of the C Python objects. Uh, well, wh what I want in the talk, uh, I want I want to play with C Python. I want to have 100 plus 2, 103. I want to have uh, three equal faults. I want to truncate a tuple. Well, why not? Well. Uh, before we can do this uh, crazy stuff, we have uh, to know how how is structure the the Python objects. Uh, every object, well, uh, an object in, in C Python is an instance. It's the same. Uh, every every object in Python is a C structure, uh, which store uh, data and memory in any point of the memory. Uh, every, every object has a type and only one type. And the type of the object never changed during the lifetime of the object. Uh, these have some ex exceptions in, in the C Python code, but it's not, it's not important for this talk. Uh, every object has an ID. The ID of the object is the the address memory the address on the on the memory, and every object in C Python have a reference counter. Uh, when the reference counter reaches zero, uh, the the object is free. Well, uh, this is the basic structure of a C Python object. Every C Python object have uh, at least two fields the OB ref CNT, uh, which is the reference counter, and OB type, which is the, the point, which is a pointer to the object, which is stored the type of this object. Uh, depending on the type of the, of the object, you can have uh, some extra data. Well, I, I'm going to talk about uh, individual objects in, in C Python uh, and explain how how is the the, the object structure uh, and and well play a little with uh, the objects. The known object is uh, the simplest object in Python. It have only uh, the reference counter and the ob type, which is a pointer to the boolean type and don't have any extra data. Uh, and the known type, and uh, the known object is a single tone object for all the Python, uh, all the C Python interpreter. Well, uh, I'm going to show some examples, and the examples uh, always uh, have this code, okay? Uh, I import C types, I define the long size, the in size, and the char size, okay? It's for simplicity. I don't show this code in the next slides. And I have some, some slides uh, doing crazy stuff to, to the C Python objects, and I call these sections very bad things, okay? I call the extension very bad things because uh, you don't have to do this. Uh, you, you avoid to, to do the, the things I do in, this, in these slides. Uh, well, uh, I, I talk about uh, known, known have two fields, two long fields, uh, which are eight bytes. Uh, these are uh, 16 bytes for known, for nothing. This is, uh, this sounds like a memory leak. Well, uh, we know that when the reference counter reaches zero, the memory is freed. Then uh, we know that the, the ID of an object is the address in memory. And with this information and some uh, help of C types, I'm going to free the known object because it's a memory leak. Well, uh, the first one, the, the first thing, uh, I get the ID of known and read the, the address, uh, read the data in this address position. Uh, it's a long, which is the reference counter of known. 
I set this uh, value to zero, and I I'll free the, the known object. Well, with some collateral damage, like the C Python interpreter, but well, this is important. I free the, the memory leak. The end object. The end object uh, have uh, four fields, uh, the reference counter and the OB type. Uh, have an OB size, which is the, the size of the OB digit array. Uh, the OB digit array is an array of uh, integers. Uh, and the value of the int object uh, is calculated with the formula at the bottom of the list. Um, I think it's more clear in the example. Uh, I ha can have the seven value in, in an integer object, and this is stored as OB size of one and OB digit of seven, and we can have a 1024 qubit, and the OB size is two, and the first uh, OB digit position half a zero, and the second OB digit position half a one. Uh, this uh, structure is allowed to have uh, arbitrary uh, long integers in, in Python. Well, I can access to the, to the structure of, of int with the types. I set the x variable to 100. I get the OB size and OB size is one. I get the OB digit and OB digit is 100. Uh, with uh, 1024 qubit, uh, I get the OB size and it's two, and the OB digit, um, the first OB digit is zero, and the second OB digit is one. Well, let's play a little. Uh, I can set the variable x to 1000. I get the OB digit of the, well, the OB digit of 1000, the of variable x, I set this value to uh, 101, and well, uh, integer are immutables. Well, <laughs> immutable. <laughs> With the types, is 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 false. But okay, uh, I get x. X now is 1001. 1000 um, 1, is 1000. Okay. Well, uh, 1000 1000 is too much. Let me be a little bit stinky. 100, 100 is okay, okay? I said x variable to 100. Now I change the value of 100, the OB digit of 100. And now x is 101. Okay. But 100 now is 101. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. 100 plus 2 is 103. Well, uh, this has an explanation. Uh, the the CPython interpreter uh, uh, cached the, the values from minus five to 256, uh, and and this these objects, these in objects, are reused by all the CPython interpreter. Then, when you use uh, when you use an integer in this uh, range, you are using this uh, catched integer. It use the same instance for all the, the values using this, this integer. And this is the reason, it's not a bool. Uh, the bool object, the bool object is an integer uh, uh, the, the true value is an integer with OB size one and OB digit uh, one, and the false uh, variable have the OB size zero and OB digit zero. Uh, there are uh, singleton variables too, you like the known object, and the OB type points to, to the Boolean uh, class, to the Boolean type. I can access to the OB size on OB digit of true and false, and it's one and one, and zero and zero. Uh, well, if I get the OB digit of, uh, the OB size of true and set it to zero, get the OB digit of true and get it to, and set it to zero, and now true is equal false, true, nice. 
another thing, uh, the, the type, the, the Boolean type is, is too, too similar to the in type that I have to, to play with this. Then uh, I get the OB type of Boolean. This is this address, the, which, which is the same of the ID of the class bool. Uh, I get the type uh, address of the the field of I get the field OB type of the true variable and set uh, to the uh, class int and now true half the representation of an integer. Oh, it's cool. The bytes, the bytes objects. Uh, the the bytes object uh, have this structure with reference counter, uh, OB type, OB size is the number of bytes, the OBS hash is the hash of the OB, well, is, is, the, by, is the hash of the bytes uh, contained in the bytes structure, uh, and OBS val is an array of uh, bytes uh, with uh, zero, binary zero at the end, like a string in C. Uh, for example, if I have uh, uh, the A uh, byte, uh, I have a OB size of one and OB as well of one position A, and A, well, two positions, A and binary zero, A, B have a OB size of two and three positions, A, B and binary zero. I can access to Yep, uh, I get the OB size and F3. I get the hash and match with the, the OB, uh, OBS hash value. I get the, the first uh, byte uh, of OBS ball and I get Y, E, P. Well, and the binary zero. The tuple object. The tuple object uh, have a reference counter, an OB type, and uh, the OB size, which is the number of elements of the tuple, our OB item, uh, which is, the, is an array of pointers to uh, Python objects. For example, uh, I can have the true-false tuple, which uh, have the OB size of two, and tr uh, an array of uh, two pointers, one pointer to the true variable and one pointer to the false variable. I can access to a tuple. I get the OB size and it's two. I get the first position and it's a pointer which, and the second position is another pointer and these pointers match with the true and false uh, variables. Well, a tuple, another immutable structure. A list with immutability. Mm, well, immutability. Uh, I set one, two, three to x variable. I change the OB size to two, and now I have uh, I have magically converted a three elements tuple in a two elements tuple plus a memory leak. <laughs> Magic. Well, the list object. The list object uh, have a reference counter, an OB type, an OB size, which is the number of elements of, uh, of uh, number of elements in the list. The OB item is a pointer to a, a structure in memory, which is an array of pointers to Python objects. We we'll see better in the example, and the allocated is the the quantity of memory reserved. For these, uh, for these objects, for these pointers. In this example, I, ha I can have true and false list, which, is, uh, which have OB size, and OB item is a pointer to a block of memory, which have the address of true and the address of false, it, and allocated is equal to two in this case, but uh, the allocated memory, in, can not match with the OB size. We, ha we can have a more bigger, bigger allocated memory blocks and we only use
use some for the elements. And well, this is uh, depends on and the way you have created the the list. Uh, well, to access a, a list, I get the OB size is three. I get the OB item pointer and this uh, address in in the memory. Uh, I get the first position of this address is a pointer to a Python object, and this pointer is one. Okay. Uh, well, I can get the second pointer, and this pointer will be through will be two. Another another very fast thing. Uh, I set uh, the variable x to a ten element list, and the variable y to a four element list. Uh, I get the the OB item pointer of y. I get the OB item pointer of x, and I set the y OB item pointer to the x OB item pointer. Then. If I get y, I get the, the first four positions of y, of x. If I modify x, I can see these modifications in y. This is not a, a great feature for use in production, okay? It's, <laughs> it's a crazy thing that, that, that don't, don't use this code, please. Well, the dict object. The dict object is the more complex object I, I will show in this talk. Uh, it's it's uh, a complex structure and, and really nice. Uh, there are uh, uh, PEP explaining how, how it works. And the PEP 412, uh, about, I talk about the split tables and community tables structure of the, the, of the um, Python dictionaries. Well, uh, every dict in Python uh, have a reference counter OB type, MA used, uh, which is the, the number of keys used uh, by the dict. The M MA keys uh, point to a data structure, and MA values uh, ha is a store, is a pointer to, to the values uh, in, some, in, in, in some types of dictionaries. Uh, I think it will be better to see it in, in the example. Uh, the DK ref counter uh, is a reference counter for this block, this, uh, this uh, set of keys. Uh, DK size, well, okay. DK size is the total size of the, of the hash map, of the, the, the variable size of the hash map. DK lookup is a, a slot for function uh, to look up uh, the hash in the in the entries. Uh, DK usable is the left space on the on the, the dictionary uh, usable before the dictionary need a resize. And DK entries is an array of a K entry structure. The K entry structure is is a hash uh, of the key, the ME key is a pointer to the key, and MB value is a pointer to the value. Let's see an example. Uh, with a dictionary, one, two, three, four, uh, I have two keys, then the MA used is two. The MA values is zero because um, this is a, an example of combined tables dictionary. Uh, this means uh, the values are stored in the key entries. The ME keys points to a data structure. The data structure uh, have a DK size of eight because we have eight positions to store uh, data or store keys. And the key usable have a value of three. This means uh, if I store three, three values more or three keys more, uh, the dictionary will be resized, and the dictionary keys, uh, the entry keys, uh, will have a ME key of, uh, will be the address of one, the ME value will be the address of two, the ME key will be the address of three and four. Uh, and the hash, uh, the hash function, the default hash function in CPython uh, for integers is the same value of the integer. Then the hash in this case, is easy to, to know. 
the splitted tables structure is used mainly for for uh, store the value of attribute of um, objects and and well is for for don't repeat uh, every time the keys and the values in the dictionary object of the of the of the objects in in python the obvcnt the well, well, the I have only one attribute. Then the ME key, the ME used is one. The ME values have one value. In this case, is the the address of one. The DK size is eight. The DK usable is three. And the and the ME key will be the pointer to the A key. And ME hash will be the hash of the A, and and ME value in this case is zero because it's binary zero because uh, we we are using splitted tables in this case. Oh, to access a dictionary is well, is a little bit complex, but well, I I get the keys the. The pointer to the to the keys, I get the the K entry one, the K entry seven, in this case. Uh, well, I get the K, the key, the value. All these examples uh, will be in, in uh, will be in published in GitHub, and the slide will be published in uh, Speaker Deck. But well, um, the key uh, and the value, I get the key and the value, the key and the value of seven. Uh, I get the the OBD of the first the, the key one, the OBD of key of val one, which is three, the OBD of key seven, and the OBD of val seven. Well, extra val. Uh, this is uh, I I don't uh, explain the the code uh, enough. For, for understand the, this example, but well, I think it's funny. Uh, I will change the add magic method of integer globally. I import the types. I define a callback function in C types, uh, which uh, gets one the two Python objects and return one Python object, and uh, return always uh, 42. Now I get the address of the pointer to the C function that wraps this Python function. I get the integer class data structure. Uh, I find the at number address, which is a pointer to the data structure with all the slots of functions, of C functions that uh, implement the, the number behavior in, in integers. I get the first position of this uh, of this data structure, which is the slot for add function. I set I put my my function. I uh, increment the of counter of uh, 42 for not break the the interpreter. And I print one plus one, and I get 42. Well. Reference. Uh, the, the main reference of this talk is uh, the Python code. Okay, it is the the C Python objects is not mm, especially complex to understand with some sections like Unicode. Um, the the Python the Python objects are defined in the include director the directory and the objects directory. And you don't have to see the, the rest of Python to understand the, the C Python objects. Uh, C uh, the C types documentation is really interesting for, for play with uh, C Python data structures. The C API of Python is really interesting too. Uh, if you want to know more about the C Python dictionaries, you can read the PEP, uh, the PEP, 4 to 1, 4 1 2, 
And if you want to see the access code or of the examples of the slides, is in my GitHub and the very bad things examples and in my GitHub too. Well, uh, the conclusions. I I don't I don't write C code normally. I I not a code developer of Python and I I don't have a big knowledge of, of C Python interpreter, but I can I can uh, play with the C Python objects. C Python uh, objects are simple, uh, are not complex, and can be funny. And of course, if I can, uh, uh, don't, don't be scared about the C Python source code. If I can read it, you can read it. Sure. Questions. Questions? Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, first, thanks for the talk. Very interesting. Uh, and my question is uh, what are the possible practical usages of this, except for inter inter entertaining the audience? Thanks. I hope for none. Uh, this is not for, for practical use. This, I, I use CTI for, for play with the three Python objects, but I don't find in any, any practical use of this, of this knowledge. Uh, is, uh, the talk is not for, for showing something to, to use in your day, in your normal days. Is for for understand for better understanding of the of the C Python how how C Python works and I hope no see this this code in any production uh, environment or, or something like that because it's it's, it's crazy stuff. More questions. Could this type of code not um, cause any security problems if uh, if you have any bad ideas and uh, you want to access uh, certain objects that should not be accessible normally? Well, can, can you repeat that? My English is not okay. really good. Then. Could, could I uh, use this in a bad way and create an, uh, a problem with security? Uh, like yes. Private it? functions, private well, well, variables. Private. Private functions in Python are not private. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> then, then the security is not a problem. Uh, we have uh, well, the, the problem is not not the security because uh, the security is broken anyway. Uh, yes, you, you, could, you can you can access to all the process memory through bar, uh, bar, uh, through proc directory, and then the, the security is broken anyway. Uh, I I find it interesting for for access to information that you don't you don't know or you don't have to know. But well, if you share binary code, um, you can access with these 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 techniques uh, to this information. But there are a lot of other techniques for for access this information. And this, uh, I think it's not a better tool for for uh, attack or for access to private information. Um, hi, but so if you make all these modifications, it would only affect the current process, right? So if you open another interpreter, Python would behave normally. Of course, uh, this this uh, these changes is uh, done in the in the memory of the process. You don't you don't have access to to modify uh, other Python interpreters. You can uh, create mod modules uh, that w when in, when are import uh, do things like that. That that is, is bad idea. Well, or, 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 or 
or a good idea for have a funny day with a coworker. Uh, <laughs> well, do we have more questions from the audience? Um, if no, let's thank the speaker again. Um, Thanks.